One, two, three. Rate it. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite couple, R&B, and we are back again today with a very special video. First, we want to start off by saying thank you guys so much. We just hit 200 subscribers and that's super exciting for us so we thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts seriously we appreciate you guys the most all of the love and support is freaking fantastic thank you guys we love you we couldn't say it enough 200 subscribers is crazy we've only been doing this for a couple months now so we're still new to this so you guys showed a ton of love on us trying indian food for the first time so today we are going to be trying lebanese food for the first time we got a bunch of stuff right here but let's dig into it so in these bowls here all right so in this one right here this is hummus and this is baba ganoush I don't know if there's a difference. They look very similar. There's definitely a difference. Yeah, they look really similar. They don't smell the same. But we got some pita bread here. All right, so let's try this first. I'm gonna rip it off. I'm gonna do the hummus. I already know I like hummus, okay, but. So let's do baba ganoush. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know. I like it. It was weird at first. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. I kind of think I prefer the hummus though. But maybe they're the same thing. Yeah, comment down below. Is this the same thing? <laughs> Tastes like hummus, but I'm really bad with like flavors, but there's something in it that's like like way stronger. And it's like an onion or like a garlic or something. But I'm bad at being able to tell. Don't get me wrong when I don't, don't please don't get on me when I say this, but it almost tastes like a hummus with milk in it. Taste it and say that don't taste like no hummus with milk in it. Let me know if I'm tripping. No, you're tripping. Okay, I'm tripping. Okay, this makes sense. So it says hummus has chickpeas in it, which we know, mm -hmm. but baba ganoush is used with, or is made with eggplants. Mm. All right, hummus, 10 out of 10. This is not something I'm trying for the first time. Obviously I've had hummus before, so I knew I was gonna like it. The baba ganoush, I give a seven and a half out of 10. Hummus, obviously 10 out of 10. Everybody's had hummus before. The baba ganoush, I don't know. You know how I feel about my veggies. It's certain veggies. And that ain't it. I'm not going to lie to you. What that you is not it. That is like a four. Dang, girl, you rated that. Next up, we have grape leaves. So grape leaves are just grapevine leaves, normally stuffed with like rice and meat. Um, we just got veggie ones, so they're it's just rice, but... Um, yeah, you ready to try them? We did put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So you ready to try? Let's dig in. Go ahead and take whatever you're picking you got. I'm gonna double dunk it, so I'm gonna take that. Why do you get the big carrot? Okay, really good. You know what it kind of reminds me of? So the reason why I asked you what these are made of, you know what like collard greens are, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like that. A little bit. Just the hint. Like I can taste like the leaf and the way the leaf is so soft. And yeah, yeah, that's what it just reminds me of my soul food. Nine and a half out of 10. The only reason it doesn't get a 10 is because it's so oily it i don't is, know it is i don't know what's on the outside of it that's the only thing i'm not a fan of but other than that delicious love them very good 10 out of 10. next all right next up here we have rice we don't know if there's like a specific name for it because when we ordered it it just said side of rice so we got a side of rice but it looks delicious it looks like it has like carrots and cilantro in it it's more of like a yellow rice but not like actually yellow rice but oh, but it looks really good all right ready to dig in let's dig in the rice 
rice was very good. I give it 10 out of 10. Um, I would eat it all, to be mm, honest. No, it was like a five. There was no flavor to me. I personally liked it. Mm. No, no flavor. Well, yeah, when you pick up three grains of rice, it's not gonna taste like anything. It'll all right, so next up, this is more of like an entree. So Brandon, do you wanna tell them? What is in here? We have the tender breast of chicken, cubed breast of chicken, sauteed fresh mushrooms, onions, green peppers, and special Beirut sauce. <laughs> the Beirut, by the way, <laughs> is the name of the restaurant we got it from. So I don't know if that's just like, you know how like Chick-fil-A has Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. sauce? It's probably something like a signature like house-made sauce. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. That is some yummy stuff. That Beirut sauce is really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they made this in, delicious. 10 out of 10. I would 100% eat it again. 10 out of 10 for sure. Would definitely eat this again. This is delicious. Next up, we have another like main dish. We have the uh, basically American salmon, you can call it, but it's with a twist on it with their own spices and it's supposed to be served with rice. We've already had the rice, but yeah, you kind of get the point. Oh, you're not even going to eat the piece that you just drowned in lemon. Mm. Mm. Very soft. So obviously you like it too. <laughs> I give it a 10 out of 10, I really do. But it's just salmon. It's just salmon, but it has their own spices on it. It doesn't taste like a regular salt, pepper, or like a, a rub type of so um, seasoning on it. Very good, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I ain't even gonna lie. They cooked this salmon to perfection. Yeah, they did good on this. We got a sauce to show you guys. Some type of white sauce and drizzle that on there. Well, okay, so I don't know about drizzling it on here, but we're gonna go. If you guys are familiar with this, Lebanese sauce, comment down below what it is. We've had the appetizers, we've had the entrees, so all that's left is dessert. You ready? I'm ready. So this side here, we have baklava. And then on this side, this is called a bird's nest. Ready? Okay. The bird's nest ain't that bad. This is delicious. Yeah, you eating that boy like a, a, a hamburger, like a quarter pounder. <laughs> Wow. They're both delicious. The bird's nest, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it kind of reminds me of baklava without as much like sugar. Like it's just not as sweet, but it kind of tastes similar. This is really good. I normally, so I've had baklava before. I normally don't like it. That's different. That ain't just baklava. Bird's nest, 10 out of 10, baklava. No, bird's nest, eight out of 10. Baklava, 10 out of 10. I agree. I see what you said with sweetness. I'm with you on that one though. We have rice pudding that Reagan just dripped on the <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little afraid to try it. Let's go, dive in. Dive in. It's not terrible. It's not bad. I probably wouldn't choose to like, get this, like go out of my way and get it, but it's not bad. It's very mushy. I don't like mushy things unless it's mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. The texture of it, I do not like, so it is not my cup of tea. I'll give it a six and a half out of 10. Would you buy it again? No? Yeah, you just said you wouldn't, so. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but, but that baklava, I bet you buy that again. Look at her. Look at her. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. As you guys can see, it was a straight banger. You've seen all the foods we tried. Some of it was good, some of it was not. The rice pudding, uh, 
What was your favorite part out of everything that we have tried? What was your favorite thing that you ate today? So I'm gonna say the baklava, but I've had baklava before and I know that I like it, so I'm not gonna say that. Okay. That. The salmon or the chicken? The chicken oh, that entree sauce. with the sauce. That was delicious. Yeah. That was probably my favorite and ab absolutely something I would order again. Very, very good. The Beirut sauce was really good. I'm an, Honestly, I'm going to go with the grape leaves just because they touch down for home. <laughs> you know, the black soul food. You already know what's going on. Guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't even have to get into it. She already just did it. She said... <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. We appreciate you the absolute most, and we will see you guys next time.